Hey guys, it's Jade again. I'm doing another book review. Um, I'm doing a bunch of these at once because I know that I've been slacking like crazy. <sighs> I know, and it doesn't matter to you guys, but to me, I need to get it together. I just need to figure it out. Like, I don't know why it's taking me so long. Um, so the next book review that I'm going to do is actually called First to Die, and it's by James Patterson. And it's also the first book in the Women's Murder Club series. I fell in love with this book. It's probably one of the best mystery novels that I have ever read, like, in my entire life. And that's saying a lot because um I know you guys have seen probably some of my other reviews I've done a review on his book I've done reviews on Mary Higgs Clark books I'm gonna do reviews on Stephen King books I've read a lot of mysteries and I love a lot of mysteries but this one it was one of the best um so in the series or I guess when you think about the first book it's about um this huge this huge murder that essentially um, no one can figure out. No one knows what's going on. Um, there are four different women that are the main characters for the book and then also for the series, obviously, because it's called the Women's Murder Club. Um, so they start off, it, it tells you how they come together. They start off as just like an Emmy, a DA, a reporter, and, um, and a cop. And they basically form this group where they decide, you know, what is important and what is not. Um, the cops can't figure out what's going on. The, you know, bystanders don't know what's happening. The world is kind of like, what is, you know, what's going on with this murder? Like, who did it? Like, you know, everyone's just confused and they come together and they're like, we need to figure this out. Like, we need to know who killed what, why, when, where, and everything. And we need to do it kind of under the table. So it becomes like a cocktail party slash let's solve a murder slash let's all be awesome women <laughs> type story. Um, I'm not going to say she's the main, main character, but it is from her point of view. So it's first person. Um, so the detective that or the main character that we're following, she has cancer. Um, so she finds out that she has cancer. and She finds out that she's got like six months to live like it's not it's not that long at all um and it really sucks because it's like you love her a lot and you know that they're probably they didn't know this when the book first came out but now in the future we know that there are like 17 other books so obviously if she dies like what is going to you know what are you gonna do but it, it, it's it sucks I kind of teared up a little bit when I first started reading about it because I was just like she can't die we need to figure out who killed this person like we need to figure out what really happened and um so she's dealing with that she's dealing with the murder she's dealing with co-workers she's dealing with just life in general and it is very relatable it's it's just the way life goes you have all these things that pile up on top of each other and it seems like there's no way out and you don't really know if they're talking about the woman or man who dies in a story or if they're talking about her being the first to die. You never know. I would say definitely read it, especially if you're a mystery kind of girl or guy. <laughs> if you're any, if you're a mystery human, I would definitely say read it because this was probably my number one pick for, um, for books in general. And I am indeed a little biased, which I will never deny. But James Patterson is one of my favorite authors. You will probably see a lot of his books being reviewed on. I will probably make a playlist specifically for James Patterson. And if I find a book that I do not like, yes, I will do a review on it. And I don't know if that will ever happen. I don't know if I'll ever find a book that I don't like by him. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've ever read. If you liked, disliked this book, just let me know. All right.